I'm talking to people who are looking to start their journey in graphic design, art design, uh, creative design. And yeah, I hope this two cents that I am about to share with you guys will help you in your journey and good luck with 2021. Let's get to it. Let's go to top, let's go. <laughs> new old i mean people i've been with since 2020 and who are still with me on this channel thank you thank you i'm susa gele and welcome to susa the creative i appreciate you guys for still being here in 2021 i mean we move we move mentally i think i'm still in 2020 but i mean time waits for no woman so yeah today's video my first video for 2021 i want to share with you five tips that i wish i knew as a graphic designer as a creative as a artistic person i wish i knew before i started this whole journey because i mean a little background before i get to that part a little background about me is i of course i was that kid who was always like doodling and drawing and you know have with pen and paper with me i'd always like drawing something there, here and there and when i got to mid uh high school i went to a school that had art uh fortunately for me it had art for a subject and i was loving it so yeah you guessed that i took art and other drawing um and designing subjects with me and i think through high school i always thought that i'll do visual arts and i'll be the person painting and drawing and you know doing um sketches and stuff but i think in matric i came across this thing called graphic design and i think because i was already like in love with the um drawing and arts and stuff like that i thought that being going into graphic design I mean, I don't know the programs, but um, I didn't let that phase me. So I was like, okay, cool. This design subject already has art and um, arts and craft. It had we, we did do a bit of craft into the subject um, in college, so it had art and craft in it. But majority of it was digital designing. So I was like, okay, I already have this. I don't know 10 20 percent part of the course so let me let me just open up my mind and keep my mind open uh with this new journey because i learned what graphic design was and as daunting as it sounded at first um i was like okay cool let me just get onto graphic design and see what it can do for me plus i already knew some people who did graphic design and went on to be other things like um graffiti artist and illustrator illustration artist or um interior designers i mean there are people who didn't study interior design that but studied graphic design but with the knowledge that graphic design gave them throughout their course they went on and became interior designers and fashion designers and design 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 i mean it's all part of it so yeah I'm talking to people who are looking to start their journey in graphic design, art design, uh, creative design. And yeah, I hope this two cents that I am about to share with you guys will help you in your journey and good luck with 2021. Let's get to it. The first tip that I can share with you guys is research and understand what you're about to do because I mean, you don't want to find yourself um, losing interest down the line down um, and wasting so much of your time because you've done a subject that you're not really passionate about so make sure that you're passionate make sure that you really 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 love what you do and you really enjoy what you're about to be doing with all the challenges because i mean creativity is all about challenges at the end of the day 
as as much as you are the designer, as much as you see yourself as the person who's designing this artwork, it's all about what the other person thinks. So if the per other person doesn't feel like um, they don't like what you're doing, then guess what? You'll have to go back, pull yourself towards yourself and regain your strength and get onto it. So passion is everything. Understanding is everything. Research is everything. And yeah. That's our first point, understand and research what you are about to do. Tip number two is that be curious. I mean, curiosity never killed any cat. It never killed nobody. So if it does kill you, just hit control Z, go back to where you want to um, carry on from and restart and do it again don't be scared to try new things really don't be scared to try new things you'll never know who might like it i mean not everybody would like what you do so somebody is gonna like what you're doing what i normally do is i design about three to five different types of designs for the specific um concept and yeah the clients will now have to choose from those five designs or three designs that i've designed and it's up to them now but yeah be curious about your designs design as many designs as you want it's your problem it's your project it's your life it's your career and it's your name on the line really so yeah that's tip number two be curious the third tip is that keep an open mind um graphic design or okay i'll speak personally for graphic design graphic design is a subject that it's like an umbrella and there's a whole lot of things and um careers and paths that you can take within graphic design i mean there's people who are do type who are doing typography there's people who are graffiti artists there's people who are illustrators there's people who are um, digital designers, there's people who are print, who do print and publication, as well as branding. And I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on. I'm just naming the few things that you can do within graphic design. I mean, if you look at, um, if you look at me, when I came into graphic design, I thought that I'll be the person who's always doing pen and paper work, um, drawing and um, painting and doing all those things. But I found that, um, I'm actually passionate with digital designing and um, pub, uh, pub, what is it? Print and publication. And I never thought I'd be that person because um, straight after college, I went on to doing, um, I went on to a corporate job where I did print and publication and I was doing layouts for um, a newspaper and yeah that was really fun that was a really fun um journey for me and i really enjoyed it but i never thought that i'll be that person to be doing um desktop work but yeah so keep an open mind you'll never know where you will end up within graphic design you might think you like something and it might just lead you on to something else. So yeah, keep an open mind um, with your subject and do make sure that you enjoy throughout the open-mindedness. The fourth tip really is, it goes back to my intro. You don't need to know all the, project, uh, the softwares. Like for me, I hardly knew Illustrator and Photoshop and InDesign and um, Corel Draw and all those up other uh, programs. The only thing that I knew was my pencil and that's about it and my paintbrush. Sorry, and my paintbrush, that's it. But that's what college is for. I mean, if you are not going to college but you want to do graphic design, you can always. Um, purchase the softwares and learn the softwares that's what also youtube is here for that's what we are here for to teach you guys um graphic design softwares so don't let anything stop you and be like oh i don't have enough pencils oh i don't know if i can if i can draw even if you can't draw it's okay you can be good in design um digital designing so there's everything for everyone in graphic design and you might think you are about the 
pen and paper person but you'll find yourself doing a lot of digital stuff you might think you're a digital person but you'll find yourself doing a lot of pen and paper stuff so yeah goes either way The fifth tip is so important, and that is that um, originality is a very subjective um, thing. So nobody is original. There's no original idea. People take ideas from somewhere and they innovate them. So that's the most important thing. Be innovative, but this um, the idea about something is always there you can always find an idea somewhere that's why you get inspired that's why you get motivated that's why there's people um who mentor you because they've uh, walked through that part but what can you do to innovate that same idea and make it look fresh and new for you and for your generation and for someone else that you are designing for so yeah that's the fifth tip very simple, very easy. Make sure that you don't kill yourself trying to find something too original because there's no such a thing as originality. There's always innovation. So yeah, keep that in mind. That is my final, that is the end of the video. I hope this video was very useful for you and good luck on your future journey. Let me know on the comments down below what you are um going to be doing this year are you going to be studying graphic design are you going to be asking youtube to assist you towards your graphic design journey or what other creative um um career are you looking forward to doing and yeah please don't forget to like subscribe and switch on that notification bell down below it's free guys please do the most and see you guys on the next video bye Mwah.